podcast show, as I say, like the hat states. But um, yeah, my special guest, uh, Jay Watts, artist, um, musician. Uh, we were supposed to do it at twelve, but I'm gonna do it right now. So uh, I'll add him into my conversation so I can chat with him real quick. this at for sure oh wait yo Yo, what's good what's good dog what's going on bro how you doing how you feeling i'm good that's what's up that's what's up man just sipping on my little frozen margarita man at the uh oh that on your table Say that again. Is that the place that you go to like every day? It looked like it was like kind of like uh Nah, that's a smoothie place. Okay. That's like some healthy shit, bro. (laughs) (laughs) For sure. Um I appreciate you for joining me. Thank you for that. You already know, man. I support everybody that support me, man. For sure. Um I had a chance. That song you put out. I don't know if it's song. Oh, platinum. Yeah, we just released that uh, on the Fourth of July. Nice. Yeah, had to add that to my playlist. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Pretty good. Ah. Uh, yeah. Say something else? Uh, testing, one, two, three. All right, see, that's perfect. Testing, <laughs> one, two, three was perfect. <laughs> uh, I was saying that I had to add that song to my playlist. Um, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, for sure. And um, I like what you're doing out there with your music, so it's pretty dope. But um, I didn't get a chance to have you introduce yourself. Do you mind introducing yourself real quick? Oh, what's up, people? It's Jay Watts, uh, Waddy McFly, Ratchet King of Pop. Yeah, that's all, you know. <laughs> Just a few <laughs> little aliases. For sure. And as um, far as music, like, uh, I know I just mentioned that song you dropped on the 4th. Like, do you have any, like, new new tracks coming out? So, I got a whole project coming out called uh, 27 Chapter. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, I'll probably do one more release before I drop the whole project. So probably like in three weeks, I'm going to drop something else. For sure. All right. Let me, uh, put that on my calendar to make sure I'm around when that drops. Uh, I think he froze for a sec. Back. Okay. For sure. Um, I was saying I'm going to put that in my calendar. Huh? Oh, for sure. Can you hear me? It's Can like you people hear me? always. Are we good? Yeah, people always call when you go live for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens all the time. For... <laughs> um, <laughs> you mentioned that a uh, project you have. Like, did you have any inspirations behind dropping that, or planning to drop that? So basically, like every every. Uh... Uh, let me see what happened with that thing. Mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. I um I heard the last part was from every experience you went through. Oh yeah, so like basically like it's called twenty seven chapters, right? Mm-hmm. It's like just all the life experiences I experienced up until like now. So I'm just talking about certain feelings I might have felt in, like, 2011 or something. You know what I'm saying? Just, like, a bunch of yeah. lessons that maybe, sure. maybe somebody can learn from. I'm pretty sure there's uh, someone out there that's going to learn from it. There's always somebody, so for sure. Um, What about um, inspirations? Like, did someone inspire you? Were you born? Family members got music? 
Um, so like we used to have people like my family used to have people come over, like other family members, like we used to have little gatherings and uh we had a karaoke machine. Mm-hmm. So whenever they weren't using it for uh for that, I would take the karaoke in my karaoke in my room and like record myself and shit. So <laughs> Like, once my mom seen what I was doing and seen I was, like, kind of good, she took me to my first studio when I was, like, 12 or 13. Yep. Yeah. Okay. For sure. And um, at that age, did you have any artists that Say that again? Like, at that age, at, like, 12, did you actually have any artists that inspired you? Or did that come later? Hell yeah, bro. Like, honestly, like, everybody during that time, because I think, like, shit, DMX was still smoking during that time. So, like, fucking Jay-Z, DMX, fucking, uh, was Kanye even out yet? I don't even think Kanye was out yet when I first started. Bro. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, like, some of my inspirations are Michael Jackson, Kanye West, Jay-Z, um, Chris Martin from Coldplay, Adam Levine, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, and uh, I actually bumped Lana Del Rey a lot. For sure, bro. Okay, you kind of just answered like two questions in one. That's <laughs> my next <Okay>. question. <laughs> it's going to be like, what's your top five? It doesn't have to be a certain order. Like, it's just your personal top five that you rock with. Rap? We could, are we doing rap? Or we, we Whatever rap you... Yeah. All right, so we'll start with rap, right? I'm going, number one, this all in order, too. Jay-Z, Kanye, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Trying to think of the fifth one, <laughs> like, like that I really, really rock with. I don't want to just say anything. Um, we're gonna come back to the fifth one. <laughs> we're gonna come back to the fifth. I'm trying to think. That I, I really just got a top four to be honest. For sure, you're you the first what? one I'll ever put, to put. I'll put Eminem number five. Okay, I. Re- <laughs> Dope bar. That's legendary list. You just dropped that. <laughs> Get your song on the radio. Got two song on YouTube. I'm just reading the comments. For sure. Hey, Coltar, I see. If that's how you say it. Marvy. <laughs> yeah, that's but, uh, uh, legendary list. Top five R&B. No, top five singers, period. We're going to go. Neo inspired me the, the most, so he's number one. I'm going to put. Oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Michael Jackson, number one. Neo, number two. Prince, number three. Chris Martin, number four. Sting, number five. Who are also the first one to sell the hunt. Two top five. In order, though, huh? like you're the one that I've talked to to do like two different top fives in order because everyone else doesn't number it, so this is actually different. But yeah, it's dope though. Appreciate that. Um, let me uh ask you a question about like where you're from. Like, are you originally like in uh Queens or like where are you from? No, I'm actually from Jersey, like, and I'm from, like, everybody thinks I'm from Brooklyn or L.A. for some reason, but um, <laughs> I was born in, like, one of the, uh, I'm from one of the smallest towns in New Jersey, and then uh, sure. I ended up coming, I ended up coming, going to school, I went to King University in Union up north, so I, like, moved up here closer towards New York, and then once I came up. I started doing like way more stuff and then like establishing my name. And um, do you have like future artists or 
officers that you potentially want to work with down the road? Hell yeah. Pharrell, Timberland. Um, what's the other guy? This it's another like this producer I just discovered. Um, he worked with like Justin Bieber and a few other people. Um, damn, do you watch Dave? I don't. You don't watch Dave on FX, bro. I haven't watched TV for a minute since I started. <laughs> All right, well, if you ever decide to start watching TV, like watch Dave. Uh, you know, Little Dicky, right? Yeah. Yeah, he has his own show on FX, bro. That shit is like... Huh? Okay, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> that shit is hilarious, bro. <laughs> Alright. I... <laughs> For sure. Uh, back to you. Um, have Have you been, like, affected by, like, uh, COVID-19? Like, far as, like, performances, music... Um, not really affected on the, like, negative end because I started, like, doing more productive stuff, honestly. Like, I've been having more time on my hands, so, like, I just started doing, like, the acoustic versions of songs. Like, you'll start seeing me in the studio more, like, recording myself. Like, before I wasn't doing that. And, um, just, like, connecting with people online more. Like, I hit, if you comment, I hit everybody back. I don't care if I got to do it 200 times or hit 200 people back, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like you just got more time to do that type of stuff, like the stuff that matters. And, and I'll go to the studio every week now, so. The average time you spend. Huh? Do you have an average time that you spend? So we, we own the studio I go to, so like if I feel like staying for a whole day, I'll just stay for a whole day. Because, like, we, you know what it is? It's like, until you find a vibe, you don't know how long it's going to take. But once you mm-hmm. catch the vibe, it might only take an hour, but it might take three hours for you to, like, really feel something. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's how I record. Like, I hate paying for studio time. Because yeah. I feel like you can't force a vibe. So I'd rather, if I did pay for studio time, I'd rather it be for the whole day. Did you learn, like, any... Do you know how, like, to play, like, the instrument? Not the instrument. Different equipment in the studio? Do you know how to, like... I know how to record myself and, like, do, like, a slight mix. Like, a good enough sounding mix to the point where you can play it for somebody. But, um, I'm actually about to buy all my producer equipment because I want to get back into making beats. Uh, So I'm probably doing that this week. And then I'm going to just, uh have my producers show me a few things and go from there. Okay, so um, then, um, you mentioned uh, making speech. That's something that was like he, that was... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You kind of broke up. Say that one more time. As far as like the whole making beat, like, um, was that like part of the process? Like come easy. So I started making beats in college, and that's actually how my producer discovered me. Like I had a plan, like to get his attention, because he didn't really like the music I was making at the time. And mind you, he's multi multi platinum, like Grammy nominated and shit. So like I used to come to the studio where he was at, and basically I recorded a whole song over a beat that I did with no drums on purpose. So, like, he can listen to it and hopefully be like, yo, you want me to do the drums on it? And that's kind of, that's how it went. Like, I played him the song. He was like, yo, I'll do the drums if you want. And then from there, we started working. So it was kind of like a little, little scheme. <laughs> <laughs> little plan and emotion. Little plan to, uh... Okay, sounds good. And, um, let me ask you this question. Like, What's up, um... Dude? Okay. Oh, I was waiting for you. Um, far as an artist, like, what are the top three qualities you think you bring to the table as an artist? Energy, a message, and uh... 
being original. Good. And um, what about um, hide from music? Hobbies that you just like to do. So I used to play AAU basketball, and I was on varsity in, in uh, high school. Uh, I didn't get that much burn. I was I was on the bench. You know, I played shooting guard on the bench, but I'm still nice. So <laughs> I love to ball. Uh, we was actually my boy brought me to like a Tory Lane session, and uh, while Tory Lane was recording, I was fucking all his friends up in basketball. So <laughs> yeah, I take pride in that. <laughs> For sure. Uh, uh, I like, bro, I, I do graphic design on the side. Kick it with my girl. Simple guy. I try to. I'm, I'm into meditation too, so I meditate almost every day, and then uh, try to find a new book to read almost every month. Yeah. Walking bucket. Say that again. You a bucket? Like on the court, walking bucket. <laughs> walking bucket, cash money records. Yeah, for sure, bro. <laughs> but uh, all right, then uh, back to artist question. Um, what kind of artist are you? Art what? Art anyone you compare your style to, or are you? Oh, um, I'm an artist that, like, when I get to the point where I want to be, I'm going to use my platform to cha change, some, change some shit, and, uh, mm -hmm. I just, uh, I really come from, like, real situations, or I might make a song to change the vibe, like, like, even, like, a platinum, right? That's not, like, yeah. necessarily a real situation, but I'm like, yo, just in case somebody, like, it's tweet for the day. Let me make something that's gonna make them feel good. Just make them wanna groove, you know what I'm saying? Or or I might go to a song like Like Love, where I'm talking about a girl that got that has a guard up. So maybe a girl that's like not giving this dude a chance because she's scared might hear this song. Like, oh maybe I'll give him a chance, you know what I'm saying? So like I'm an artist that's not just gonna make dumb shit, basically. Right, sir. I'm not just gonna make anything just to just to say something, because I'm in the studio. All right, and um, speaking on your platform, what's your overall goal as an artist? I want to be considered one of the greatest entertainers of all time. That's like my biggest goal. Breaking up just a little bit. Say that one more time. As far as um, I say if someone says your name, what do you want them to think of? Energy. Just energy, man. That's all. Like, I was feeling this way. I see his page, and it made it, like, change my mood. That's all. Just energy. Okay. And um, are any don't go about go about you just fine. Damn. From looking at your page, just say if I look at your page, is there something I wouldn't know? About? Hold on, say that one more time because I couldn't hear you. Sorry. For sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> just say if someone random was looking at you, is there something that they wouldn't know about you? Um, I mean, it's in my bio, but uh, basically, like, a big thing that changed my life and how I thought about life was uh, 2011 when I had a kidney surgery. Like, um, they had found a mass on my left kidney, so basically I had, like, this big kidney surgery. I thought it was cancer and everything. That just changed my whole outlook. So, like, it made me more focused. And it, honestly, I was straight rapping before then. And then after my surgery, I started, like, just being open to everything. And, like, not holding.
wanted my talent back. I always knew I could sing, but I just didn't want to do it. So, from somebody that doesn't know, like, that, that's why I, like, make the music I make. So, uh, you mentioned rapping, like, this that. Damn, you, you, damn, you cut up again. Oh, we good? Yeah, now we're good. Okay, for sure. Um, you mentioned rapping. Um, did that include like freestyle and two, or were you just like regular rapping? I'm not gonna lie, I might be one of the greatest freestylers of all time. Hey, my sister, huh? If my sister's still on here, she can vouch. But uh, yeah, my freestyles might be better than your favorite rappers. Not gonna lie. Really. No, seriously, bro. Like, I'm I'm really retarded with the, with freestyling. Like, retarded. I just don't do it. I'll do it one day on my gram. Like, I, I'll go live and let people say a, t a subject, and I'll just freestyle. So you that type of freestyle artist, like, off the subject? Yeah, I, bro, I rapped from the age of 10 until, like, 22. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I'm going to have to wait for that one. I, I, I want to see that. Like, <laughs> that sounds like, that sounds dope, bro. Like, if you <laughs> freestyle off any subject, that, that's dope. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be waiting for that. Whenever you to do that, I'm going to be in the section waiting. <laughs> Yo, I thought he was just a singer, bro. Like, I didn't know he could freestyle. That's crazy. <laughs> nah, but, yeah. it's, it's real for sure okay yeah, uh, you know what's funny you know the rapper Casanova yeah I was actually in the studio with him one day and he ain't know like I could freestyle and shit so I, I freestyle some shit he like yo bro can you say that line again I'm like I don't even remember what I said <laughs> like it was that crazy <laughs> yeah man and uh, how long ago was that but you've been singing for a while now. But that's some years ago. I, I, honestly, I freestyle all the time. Like you just gotta catch me. If I'm in the studio and the, and the beat is on, I might freestyle. All right. That's one of the things in life that really makes me happy. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna need you to put five on when you're in the studio, so I can get in the <laughs> and I can watch it. Got you. I got you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Okay, let me get back to some questions I have for you, actually. Um, upcoming, upcoming events. Do you have any upcoming events as far as music goes? Bro, events are shut down. <laughs> I, might nope. have, I, might, I might end up doing like a, um, like a live performance for my project. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, I'm like scared of this corona shit, so I don't want to risk anything. Yeah. Yeah, I know from mass or your mass Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Bam. Just... Bam. <laughs> I'm not playing. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Sounds good as well. And um let me ask you this question. Uh, okay. What have you learned new about yourself during this situation? What have I learned new about myself during uh, COVID? Yeah. Um, if I plan, if I plan out what I want to do, I can stay consistent with it. For sure. Because I, I get bored easily, but if I plan everything, like yo, I'm gonna do this this week. Do this with people this week, you know what I'm saying? If I do that, like I got goals for the week, and I actually get them done. Yep. So that's like the okay. Main okay. That sounds good, bro. Um, let me ask you this question. Um, someone wants to find your more about five five Apple. You have a link in your bio. Yes, yes, yes. So I have the link in my bio to 
platinum. Uh, that's on available on all streaming platforms, and then from there, all the rest of the songs will pop up. Like my recent releases, I actually had a release like four weeks ago, uh, titled "Fallen," and I'm dropping an acoustic version for that, like in an hour. So, you should be on the lookout for that. Okay, for sure. All right, sounds good. I will be on the lookout for that. I'm sure you'll post something about it. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me uh, let me ask you this final question. Okay. Uh, as far as like sharing information, did you get a chance to share everything that you possibly wanted to share? Yeah, outside of uh, everybody watching, I feel like you should read The Power of Now and Think Rich, Grow Rich. For sure. Two books that have changed your life and like the way you think. All right. Sounds good. I'm going to check those out. Um, do you have a YouTube page? I wanted to ask you that. Yes, J Watch TV. And I'm uploading like three pieces of content this week. So, like, you'll see the acoustic, you'll see the platinum video, you'll see a lyric video in like the next few days. All right. For sure. And uh, if you want a copy of this, I'm going to edit it and clean it up. Like, you okay. can DM me your uh, and I'll just send it to you. Sounds good, brother. Nice talking to you, man. For sure. I appreciate you for coming on and chatting with me, man. Hell yeah, let's go. Anytime, man. All right. Have a good one, let's dude. Let's do another one. Let's do another one closer to the release of the I'm album. Down. Yeah, for sure. I'm down for that. Yeah, we good thank on that you, one. Brother. All right, thank you. Have a good one. Bless you. Yep. All right.